Hello, everyone, and welcome to Unfocused, our uh, failure of a weekly web series. Uh, with me this week, as usual, is Kramik and Rabid Gorilla. So, what What's up, up, guys? All right, this week's topic is something I want to talk about because of uh, my problems that I've had this week, and that is hardware. Uh, computer hardware, gaming hardware, hardware in general. Uh, at the beginning of the week, I ran into a huge problem where the capture device that I use to record, uh, like my Xbox 360 gameplay, State of Decay, which a lot of you guys are watching, uh, just decided it didn't want to be a, a capture card anymore. And then shortly thereafter, the video card on my PC dropped. So it was like, oh shit, everything went wrong. So let's talk hardware. Uh, from gaming hardware, uh, gaming consoles, all sorts of things. Lots of things in the news about, you know, the Xbox One and it doing a complete 180 on its uh, policies and things. The PlayStation 4, which everybody's looking forward to. And of course, you know, gaming computers, PC, the PC Gaming Master Race. So, you guys, <laughs> uh, tell me, uh, what is your preferred means of gaming? I have grown accustomed to a PC gaming. I don't really have a preference. I can play with anything. Well, you know, I've always been more... All right, MMOs and things like that, obviously, on PC due to lack of options for them being on consoles. But not... Uh, What's that? Final Fantasy. Yeah, well, soon. Soon. But... We, we didn't actually do that this weekend. We totally should have. Yeah, well, that was your fault. But for actual, like, general gaming, I mean, like, me and Kramick have always played co-op games for as long as we've known each other, and they were always focused on Xbox. Like, we would get on Xbox 360, Xbox Live, and if it was something that we could play co-op, that's where we would do it. We would very rarely do stuff... PC unless it was an MMO, you know, something that required that you play it on a PC. What's so funny now, ever since I started recording, which I've only been doing this for maybe seven, eight months, now we have try and focus everything on PC mainly for convenience factor. Like, it's so much easier for me to record on a PC than it is to record consoles. And then until your computer decides to eat itself. Well, and that was just fun. So, speaking of that... Um, I've got a fairly decent computer, um, you know, i7, you know, uh, what is it, 3770K, so the one that I can overclock that I never actually do, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, a bunch of SSDs and storage drives and all sorts of crap like that, but my video card was a GTX 670, um, and, you know, it's been a workhorse, it, it's done an amazing job, but I think I honestly just killed it from pushing it way too hard, way too much. Um, I run... 30 inch display for my center, and then I have it flanked by two 20 inch displays on each side in portrait mode, which is a lot of fun. Um, I max that card out, but now my new toy. Uh, your channel timed out. Eh, he went poof. And that brings up another thing, but I'll, I'll get to that in a second. My new toy is a GTX 780 uh, super clock. So, I mean, it is pretty much one step below of a Titan. I mean, I, I couldn't afford a Titan if my life depended on it. So. I got a badass video card now. But you just noticed uh, Kramick disappear. The funny thing about Kramick disappearing is he games on a laptop, as does Rabbit Gorilla. Um, now, see, Rabbit's laptop is just absolutely trash. I'm pretty sure because it's raining in Minecraft, he's lagging right now. No, my no? laptop is not absolutely trash. It is it's absolutely just, trash. We know it is. It's just shitty on the uh, gaming laptop end of the line. Okay. Okay, it's trash for everything that matters. See, whereas Kramik's laptop is actually a fairly good laptop, it is a gaming laptop. I know it's a Sager. I cannot remember what model number it is, but I did pick it out for him and told him to buy it. Um, the problem is, it's overheating like crazy now. And that's a problem with laptops. You know, gaming laptops is kind of like, you know, everybody used to say is, uh, you know, it's just an oxymoron doesn't work. You know, you can never game on a laptop, which I really don't think is true, because well, let's think about it for a second. Have you seen, well, I know somebody has, but have you seen the, um, like, the new Alienware laptop systems? Uh, well, I absolutely have. As a matter of fact, I just ordered the Alienware 17, the 2013 model that is supposed to be coming uh, 
towards the end of July. Yeah, see? So he's going from ghetto crappy gaming computer to uh, overpriced uh, gaming laptop computer. I can't say crappy because uh, I'm, they're not really crappy, actually. Um, before... No, uh, but considering I got the 4th gen i7 uh, at like 3 gigs or something like that with 16 gigs of RAM the ridiculous graphics card for a laptop, it's going to be pretty badass. I'm excited and can't yeah. wait. Yeah, it should be fantastic. It's going to be nice to get you up and uh, actually functioning at a level that can record and do stuff. See, because that's something else I wanted to plug is... Alright, something is dying somewhere and it's driving me crazy. Oh, it's a zombie up here. Up here. Couple zombies. Alright. Well, see, the thing is... I uh, That's something else I wanted to plug was our Twitch TV channel. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this. We have a Twitch TV channel. We usually do stream every day, or try to anyways. If I'm not doing it, Kramick is doing it. And he'll play random crap like League of Legends or whatever. But we're always trying to keep it going. And I'm trying to encourage you guys who watch this to go follow us there as well. Uh, because we do a lot of stuff in or on Twitch that we don't do on the YouTube channel. For example, uh, this amazing Minecraft castle. Uh, we have been building this while streaming on Twitch and, and talking about it. We've even had some watchers of our uh, Twitch stream join us on the server and help build some things and do some stuff. It's been a lot of fun. And welcome back, Kramik. Uh, I already covered what happened with your computer. <laughs> yeah, it decided to just, um, you know, only Minecraft running, but now uh, that apparently was an issue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got a problem going on there. We were talking about the viability of gaming laptops and what happens. But... Um, no, so, and, and now I was just pitching, you know, that people should watch our Twitch stream because you're on it all the time. We've been building this fantastic castle. Uh, we also play a lot of random co-op stuff on Twitch that does not end up on YouTube, such as Payday the Heist, Star Wars, uh, The Old Republic. I know a lot of people keep commenting on my Star Wars The Old Republic video saying, well, play more, play more. I don't put them on YouTube, but we do play and we stream them. So watch. Like, follow us on Twitch as well. There's going to be an annotation up at the top left. Click it. Follow well, us there. Look, man, you keep talking about these annotations and all this other stuff to click, but I never see it. Where is it at? Um, do you have it turned off? It's it's up up on the left side. Always. See? There's going to be like... Okay, colored... i to look from your angle. Look yeah, from there, your there, angle. It, there's it, go... it's oh, there. there. Yeah, I see it. I see yeah, it. see, yeah, they're colored the buttons. Yeah, they're, they're colored buttons up there. See, it, it's perfect. See? Okay. Anyways, um, what we were talking about was Rabbit is going to have the ability soon to play some serious games for like the first time ever. So we are going to be getting him streaming on a regular basis on our Twitch channel. Uh, we're probably also going to be start seeing some videos from him uh, either on the main YouTube channel or a sub-channel, which I'm starting, which there will be more details on that in a future uh, episode of this. But it's going to be community-focused, and it's going to be awesome. But yeah, I'm going to be starting off with some older things that I played on this laptop that I want to replay on super awesome sexy settings. Yeah, see, that's something we need to do, is we need to pull the audience and figure out what games we should be playing, either each of us individually, or us as a group should be playing, uh, and either putting on YouTube or streaming on Twitch. Since most of you guys are not following on Twitch, you would be missing out, so that's a reminder, click the button. Join um, us. Yeah, join one of us. Uh, besides that, um, you know, something else I wanted to talk about this go around was gaming consoles. I'm sure most of you have been following what's been going on with that. Um, Sony basically took E3 and owned it on a stick um, and then shoved that stick right up the arse of uh, Microsoft. Uh, <laughs> But then, about a week later, Microsoft comes back and says, Okay, look, we screwed up, but here's what we're going to do now. We changed our minds, is what they said. Um, what do you think of that? I think it was damn funny. Uh, uh, there's, there's two things at play here. One, I think it's excellent that uh, the Xbox One now does not have an online requirement. Uh, none of that used games bullshit where you can't, you know get rid of your games, or the DRM, you know, the, the constant on, constant, you can only 
register the game to your account. Uh, I'm glad that's gone. I'm glad that the connect while being required with the system is not always on and watching you, you know, fap to your game pixels, whatever Rabbit does in the spare time. Um, yeah, see? Uh, that's great because at heart, and I'm going to get flamed for saying it, I am an Xbox fan. Uh, I would take an Xbox 360 over a PS3 any day of the week. Yeah, that, that's mostly only because, you know, chat. Well, that was a big factor, okay? On PS3, you're stuck in the lobby with all the douchebags when you play an online game. Uh, on Xbox Live, it's like, oh, bam, I can start a party. Me and Kramick get into Battlefield 3. We're in our own party, making fun of everybody, shooting people off, you know, the, the Charlie roof, whatever. We're having a good old time. Um, in PlayStation 3 online junk, you're hearing every screaming preteen on the planet coming through your headset. It's really annoying. So that has always swayed me to yeah. Xbox. One's enough. Oh, well, that was uh, never my experience with uh, Battlefield when I had a 360. Well, when you have a 360, it's different. You can either go into your own party or whatever. Um, we only really had multiplayer stuff. I think, what, was it Warhawk or something that we played? on ps3 yeah. and what we did was the funniest thing ever we got on our xbox first joined an xbox live party and used our xbox headsets to communicate while playing ps3 games yeah we didn't have to put up with the noise children no it was absolutely fantastic doing it that way too now, when i had my 360 and i played battlefield and never heard kids with battlefield there were you know adult sounding people now when mm -hmm. I would play Call of Duty, that's oh, that... when I got the eight-year-olds telling me that they fucked my mother. Yeah, dude, I I can't handle Call of Duty. Now, I bought Black Ops 2 the, the week it came out, you know, the on release day. I played the shit out of it for about a week, uh, prestiged, you know, once or twice or whatever, uh, played with a few people that I knew, and I dropped it like a brick right after that. I'm like, I'm done, I ain't playing anymore, didn't play the campaign, didn't anything, gave the disc to my brother and said, fuck it, I'm done. Um, I can't handle Call of Duty, uh, and I know Call of Duty Ghost is going to be what they say, oh, you know, everybody's going to want it on the 360 because of DLC and stuff and blah, 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 or not the uh, Xbox One, that's right, um, because of DLC and stuff and blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, I don't know why so many people buy Call of Duty anymore. It is literally the same game rehashed every year. The last Call of Duty I played was 3 and that was to finish out, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I, yeah. I played it to finish out the storyline. I didn't even touch multiplayer. Yeah, I, 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 I think someone made me get Black Ops just for the story, and then... Um... No, I made you get it for the multiplayer. We had fun with that until Battlefield 3 came along. And then that was it. We're like, what's this Call of Duty shit? You got stuck on that one part where it was just stupid on the hardest difficulty. Oh, in um, Black Ops didn't have co-op, though. No, it did. Oh, yeah, but, oh, I remember, yeah. No, I actually employed my brother, who's, you know, far younger than me, and that's why he plays Call of Duty. And uh, I actually brought him over, and I'm like, all right, dude, here, here's the deal. We got uh, private stock, Captain Morgan, and enough Coke to, to pretty much make it, so this game is not terrible. Coca-Cola. That is not the yeah, drug. Yeah, Coca-Cola. Yeah, not, not the drug. Not the drug. And, uh, yeah, we, we managed to get through it. So if anybody ever looks at my achievements on Xbox Live and, you know, sees the... What, what is it? The, I can't even remember the difficulty, but it's retarded. And Hardcore? or What's the one after Hardcore? I don't know. Insane? That's it. Insane. Thank you. See, I'm tired, man. I, lot, I can't think of these things. Um, I don't know. Is it insane? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know. My, my biggest regret is we weren't recording back in the Left 4 Dead days. Oh, we had some fun with that, too. I had a room full of people here, including people that have no idea about video games or don't even care that video games exist. And uh, in the corner of my room, I've got my TV going, a friend playing, and Kramick on the other side up in Canada, and, and the voice coming through the speaker. So everybody's hearing what's going on. And there was four-player Left 4 Dead going. And here's the dumb Canadian bastard sneaking up. Now, if you guys have played Left 4 Dead, you'll understand why this is funny. Um, sneaking up behind the witch. You know, the, the things that are sitting there crying on the ground. And when they see you, they're going to rip your face off. Um, the end result was, I've got, like I said, a room full of people watching this TV. And, and most people don't even give a shit about video games. They're like, what is that? And what is he doing? <laughs> 
And he was trying to get her number. Yeah, I, and I got bored. I was waiting for like twenty minutes, just sitting here twiddling my thumbs, and I'm like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna melee that witch." And it didn't work out well. Let's put it that way. I, what I had was a room full of old people, well, parents and friends of whatever, all staring at this, watching this all go down as he aggroes the witch, wipes out the whole thing, and kills everybody. And it's like, oh. <laughs> See, I wish you guys had Left 4 Dead on PC, because we could have so much fun with that. But see, that was back when we were all, like, pro-console. Like, we were, if it came out on the console, we wanted it on the Xbox 360. And that was just because convenience, we enjoyed it, and I feel like I'm better at console shooters. Now, I used to be. You, you um, are. No, I'm terrible at, at PC shooters, uh, and and well, I was that's, that's really you're better at yeah. Console. I was really really good as a sniper in Battlefield Three, um, but beyond that, I haven't played other than State of Decay, which the shooting mechanics in that game are terrible. Um, I have not played a console shooter since we played uh, Battlefield Three last, which was many months ago, but. You know, now that I'm doing nothing but PC gaming for the most part, other than, you know, the few console things that I need to do for recording or things that people want to see, um, I'm pretty much exclusively PC gaming at this point. I still, however, have pre-orders for both new consoles coming up this year. So both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Mr. Moneybags over here. I, you know, it's not so much Mr. Moneybags. It's like... He has to have all the nice toys. Yeah, well, I, I have nice toys, but that's beside the point. It's more of a... They're going to be sold out. And you can pre-order things and throw some, some money down, or in some cases, throw no money down and still have something reserved to where it won't ship until... or it won't bill until it ships. And my thought was, well, a lot of things can change from the time E3 happens to the time this stuff actually hits store shelves. So, right now, everybody's rooting for PS4. Like, yay, okay, PlayStation 4... Uh, but you don't know what the hell Microsoft might pull in the end. I mean, right now, if I had to pick one of the consoles just for release titles, it's gonna have to be the Xbox One, because Dead Rising 3. Meh. Okay, did you ever play the other Dead Rising games? I did, I played the first one, and I went, I do not like this game. I was so excited to play it, and I was all gung-ho about it, and I sat down and I played for about three hours, and I was like, you know what? Fuck this game. Well, Gramic and I played Dead Rising 2 in extreme length on mm -hmm. Xbox, of course, and uh, we had a freaking blast. But see, co-op... Oh, God. See, but co-op is what makes it... Yeah, every electrical thing that I could come up with to zap the shit out of both myself, you, and zombies. Um, mm -hmm. But we had a lot of fun, and that was the co-op element that made that fantastic. Which is why I'm thinking, okay, take Xbox One, the new social features that they got in there from all the online crap, the new graphics, the new everything else, throw co-op, a shit ton of zombies, the customization, that game could be epic. But that's just assuming that I were to pick a system based on launch day titles, because I don't, PlayStation 4 has something like Knack, which looks okay, but it's just like a kind of platformer... Not my type of game. I'm, I'm not into that type of crap. Uh, Watch Dogs is uh, looking amazing, but that's both platforms. So there's really nothing... Well, there's one other game that comes out Xbox One. Um, I think it's at Rise, Son of Rome, or something like that. I don't know if you saw previews for that. I know nothing. I, I had seen some stuff on it. That looks fantastic. Again, it's just kind of a graphical showpiece. But, I mean, again, a big action game, blood, guts, all the, you know... So, if I had to pick, uh, like, I'm getting to a question for you guys here, alright? If I had to pick one console to take on release date based solely on what games I would like to play are available on that day, I'd have to pick the Xbox One. So, if you guys could only pick one, what would you pick? I think I would go with the PS4 just because they're going to have the majority of the PS3 titles for a digital download. See, that might be the selling feature for me is the, um, what the... I just had a massive, like, stroke or something, but... Uh, <laughs> 
because you're trying to think of how you're going to find a job and get the money to even get to this point. Yeah, yeah, there's that. And I was trying to think of an appropriate way to, way to phrase it without, um, I don't All know. Right. I, I know where you're getting at because we've talked about this before. See, Sony had kind of teased at a concept that they're going to be doing cloud streaming, gaming, whatever, where they could potentially bring the entire PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 um, catalog streamed. Like, if you guys remember um, on live, did you ever hear of that or whatever? It, it was a thing you can hook up. I, I and, would pre I'd prefer uh, to think of it as, as Netflix for um, games. Well, yeah. But see, OnLive was a streaming service where you can buy or get games and play them, Ma meaning you could play them on a freaking iPad because they were rendered and then sent to you over the internet from another machine. In other words, another game is playing it and you're playing it from remote with no lag and no anything else. Sony was talking about doing something with that for all of their older games or their previous library. And that would be cool and a major selling factor, but they said that something like that wouldn't be coming till mid to late 2014. So, again, I'm basing it on a release day thing where Sony could mature into something fantastic or bring out cool features. So could Xbox or, or Microsoft, for that matter. Um, but if I had to pick based on games and what I know alone, it would have to be the Xbox One just because of Dead Rising, uh, Dead Rising 3 being an exclusive to that. It's unfortunate that it's an exclusive. But Sony has a lot of exclusives coming down the pipe later. It's just nothing that stands out for release that's like, man, I gotta have that. If, if I had to base my decision on what I know, I, I wouldn't make a decision because I know nothing. Well, Sony's got something else going for it too, and it's that it's $100 cheaper. So, I mean, oh, cost see, of entry is $100 less than an Xbox One. But with the Xbox One, you're getting the Kinect and you're getting all of that crap too, Sony did away with their camera and basically that's it. They, you won't get the consumer to go out and buy the camera after the fact to do whatever it is unless there's like some killer app or major game that you have to have with it, which they tried that with the PlayStation Move and never took off. Technically, Kinect tried that too, where it's like, oh, you have to have this. Well, since well that's why to... they made it where you have to have it because they weren't selling it. Well... They were selling them fine, and I understand Microsoft's point, though. If they include it with the system, now all developers have access to that. Meaning, people weren't developing for the Kinect because the install base wasn't large enough. You know, enough people didn't pick up on it and just say, hey, you know, we're, we're going to skip this. But if everybody has it, whether they're using it or not, if a developer like, all right, like DICE or EA or whoever technically releases Battlefield games, it's DICE. But... Um, they can all of a sudden say, all right, everybody who buys this for Xbox 3, or Xbox One, I keep calling it 360, for Xbox One, uh, will definitely have a Kinect hooked to the system that they can't get rid of, which, love it or hate it, that's just how it is. Uh, uh, I never was a fan of Kinect. But you never had one. Uh, but, no, see, but here's the thing. Had one. But see, then DICE could say something to the effect of, cool, now that we know that everybody has this, we can develop a feature that would be something to the tune of you can give voice commands through the thing or in your squad or whatever. Or it can do head tracking, so when you look to left and right, your camera will change left and right. You know, things like that could happen and could be very cool. And now that that technology is basically built into the experience... Um, I was, uh, I saw something. There's a, uh, what was it? It was a Kickstarter or something. There was a company that's making, like, a thing that does all that without the need to, like, connect. I think well, you're referring to the Oculus oh. Rift? No. Mm. Track IR does something like that, and it works for, like, Arma. Oh, what was it called? And, and other things. I wanted to try that out because it works for War Thunder. Do you know how cool it would be that if you turn your head to the left, you see out the left side of your freaking plane? That, but that if would you've be only fantastic. got one screen, and you turn your head to the left, you're only going to see that one screen out of your peripheral. See, the the thing that I was looking at, it's like you don't turn your head completely left. You you like turn slightly, and it just changes your camera view in the game. It's it's really cool. Look it up. Uh, look up track IR and look up. Um, it's just head tracking for 
for gaming on a PC. I, it, I can't even neat. think of the name anymore, but it was like, think of like a little, not even a full treadmill, just like something compact that you can disassemble and like slide away like workout equipment. It was like mm -hmm. that size. And they had it set up so that your shoes had like a little peg oh. so that it was like... Yeah, I, I I don't know. I remember seeing something a year or two back where they built this massive simulator for Battlefield. I had yeah, the whole rolling massive. floor and everything. Yeah, that was fantastic. I, I would love that. And then paintballs this... would actually shoot your ass if you got shot. Yeah, that, well, that would not that, be fun. That's taking it a step too far. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, the way that, this thing was... crazy. The way th this thing was uh, looking, it did what that giant thing did on a much smaller scale. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, again, I, I'm obviously losing an argument here about the console because, you know, I, for one, would choose the Xbox One. I mean, that's my choice because I am an Xbox fan. Uh, my account will move over. All of my stuff will move over and it'll be pretty seamless. You know, I mean, that's for me. I like that. Now we can ask the audience, what do you guys prefer? I mean, I, I pretty much know everybody's going to say PlayStation 4 or Option three, the PC Gaming Master Race. Screw consoles, just play on PC. Nah, I don't know about all that. But who's to say six oh, months man, after the really... release of the Xbox One that uh, Microsoft doesn't decide, all right, now that we've sold a shit ton of consoles, let's reinstitute all that DRM stuff. They won't do that. Well, I guess they could. I mean, anybody well, all they could. gotta do is just but... leave all the software still on there, just disabled, and then re-enable it in an update. Yeah, but that's... Keep in mind that these consoles have to live for the next 8 to 10 years, like the current generation kind of has. To a point where they're not going to do that because they profit nothing from a system that nobody uses. They need people using it, buying more games for it. That's where they're going to make their money. Has it really been that many years? It's been a long time. Yeah, it's, uh, I think the current gen for consoles has lasted longer than the previous one. And there's still a lot of life left in what's currently out there, but just the same. I mean, if it were me, I'd go, and I can only pick one, I would take the Xbox One. Yeah. And I would I would like to have both systems as well. And if I had to only choose one, I, would, I think I would go PS4, because there is a large franchise of PS3 games that I would like to play. And like Which, I said, I believe that there's going to be the digital downloads or whatever for PS3 titles. Well, maybe, you know, as of right now, there is zero, I mean zero, backwards compatibility. None. So all those cool PlayStation 3 games you're thinking of, it could be a year or two before you could ever play them on that system. You are far better off picking up a cheap-ass PS3 right now. And that's probably actually going to be what I end up doing. Yeah, well, I see, that's... I think I'll get the PS4, mm -hmm. not this year, not on the lease. It'll probably be next year whenever I get one. Yeah. See, and that's the other problem. I hate that they're doing this this crap, and, and you know, it's the same as this current generation. But, I mean, the PlayStation 3 of this generation, um, I mean, anybody who owns one, I don't care how big of a freaking fanboy you are. It fucking sucks to update. The interface is trash half the time. Um, it just, I hate it. I mean, when I first got, or when you first get a game or you first get your PlayStation hooked up, I mean, you're talking a two-hour update process. Now, I mean, I've got fastest consumer internet I can get around here. It's not my internet connection. It's the system being slow as mud. And it's things like that. The lack of the coherent online features, like let me join a party and talk to my friends, uh, has always put me off from the Sony brand. Um, and, and it's just, I mean, everybody kind of has a short memory too. I mean, hell, how long has it been? It's, I guess it's been a little while, where basically the PlayStation Network was down for what, a month? When they got hacked and lost yeah, everybody's was, uh, shit. a little more than a year ago. Yeah, you know, or it got hacked and lost everybody's shit, you know, and all of your personal information got stolen by hackers. And, I mean, people have a short memory when it comes to that kind of stuff where they're like, oh, Sony fanboys, woo! But it's like, at the same time, I don't know, I think Sony's learned a lot, and they proved that in E3 when they came out swinging. You know, it's like, hey, we have our shit together. Yeah, and when I when I do get a PS3, I think I'm gonna try to find one of the the original models, one of the fat boys for the PS2 backwards compatibility. Yeah. That's okay. Not bad. 
I, I found the thing I, I read about earlier. It's called the Omni. Okay. Then, yeah, um... Like, it's in production now, and they have... I think it is. It was on Kickstarter. They get more money. But, yeah, there's actual videos out there of people using it to play, um... Skyrim, Team Fortress 2, Half-Life 2, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Hmm. Skyrim with some kind of VR would be kind of interesting. Yeah, that would. But did you guys hear about the people that modded a treadmill into their PC to play World of Warcraft? So in order mm -hmm. to get from place to place, they actually have to walk on their treadmill. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. That, that's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, Warcraft got or World of Warcraft eliminated the world part of it a long time ago, where you can teleport your ass everywhere. But uh, that that is an interesting concept. And I also think that that is a big selling point for. PC gaming over console gaming is mods. Well, that's always been. You know, you could do a lot more with a PC. Plus, I don't care what anybody says. The The new console's graphics are fantastic. They look great. But even a, a mid-range PC by today's standards can kick the crap out of anything. Even the yet-to-be-released consoles can do. The consoles are always going to be steps behind. And that's just the nature of it. But the plus side of this generation versus anything else is that in this generation, um, they're all on the similar architecture, meaning they're all based on, you know, an ATI card with, um, you know, eight core, you know, a PC equivalent processors, things like that, which means now developers can build the most fantastic looking and the most fantastic working games as if they were making them for PC, then port them to the consoles, which means the PC is going to start getting a lot of these fancy things too. And if these developers were smart, they would stop, you know, with this uh, exclusive bullshit. You know, because I, I get it, you know, first party studios and things like that for Sony or Microsoft or whatever. But I mean, it's who's it really screwing other than the consumer? You know, I mean, Microsoft's going to stick it to Sony with more Halo. All right. Whoopee Halo. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Halo. But eh, I don't know. I, I, I'm just it's just so stupid. I mean, I end up owning a PS3 for no other reason than to just play The Last of Us. That's it. I, I have no other interest in it. And then once I'm through with yeah. that, I have a PS3 that does nothing. So, Rabbit, I'll just send it to you. <laughs> that works. And you send me The Last of Us as well. Yeah. Well, be before you send it to him, just make sure we find time for that PS3 Final Fantasy beta. By the time we find time for that, the game will be released in August. <laughs> We're about into we, July. We, we could totally do it, like, tomorrow. Maybe. And there's, Maybe. Two, more, there's two more weekends between now and then. I guess. All right, so questions for the audience if anybody's actually made it this far into this long-ass, drawn-out video of stupidness. And why does it keep raining here? Because you keep turning it off. The world really wants to rain, and you being God are like, no. Uh, no I am hey, God. Hey, the last time it rained, the lightning struck your house, okay? Well, what you guys didn't see was the last time it was raining, the lightning struck over in front of the stable, which was, like, the coolest thing ever. Oh, I got some on the stream. I was out flying towards, um... Where I'm gonna go light your house on fire. Don't light my fucking treehouse on fire. It's already been on fire once. <laughs> and someone already blew up my vacation house. There's a house over there. It's nice There's another there. house over here. It's not my vacation house. No, but it's spacious and lovely. Uh, but anyways, questions for the people who have been watching. All right. Xbox One or PlayStation 4 or your rich kid and getting both. Um, or, cons or PC. Well, PC is kind of a given. I mean, everybody kind of has one. But, I mean, your preferred gaming platform, I guess, yeah, PC... Um, I'm a huge trap. I don't believe it. Well, oh well. shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your house. Well, I guess it was a huge trap. <laughs> yeah, it got somebody. Uh, Nobody ever follows the signs. 
Anyways. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I mean, what's your preferred method of gaming? I guess that's the takeaway uh, from this here episode of completely unfocused commentary. So, uh, And question two, uh, you mentioned earlier, but we'll mention it again. What games do they want? What games are they looking forward to? What games would they like to see us play? Well, that's actually another thing. So, uh, Rabbit's going to have the ability soon to start streaming, and we are going to put him to work. It's about time that bastard started chipping in. Yep. Uh, I, I think the first thing, it will be him um, stopping this flooding area. Nope, not going to do it. No, I'm just clearing things out over there. Anyways, um, yeah, what do you guys want to see us do? I mean, I've I've got my own things I'm working on. I, I've got State of Decay, and whether you like it or not, I'm going to finish Company of Heroes. And um, I got some other games coming up on deck, and I've been trying to talk with some of the companies to get early copies of the games. Whether that works or not, I don't know. I'm not cool or important enough like some of the other YouTubers, I guess. But... You know, it uh, depends on your state of view because you're telling me one thing. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, now, the only other thing, and I, I need to make sure that I get better at this. People mention this to me all the time. We do have social media stuff. We have Facebook. We have Twitter. We do have a website that I'm not maintaining. We do have forums that we're not really paying attention to right now. All of those are going to be in the description. I encourage you guys to click likes, follows, sign up, do whatever. And again, our Twitch TV channel, uh, most important. We are on that often enough to where you guys are missing out on cool crap if you ain't watching. Because, I mean, we built this castle on Twitch. Like me exploding his vacation home. That was on Twitch. Oh, yeah, you, you missed some really interesting stuff. And we do bring the community into it. We, uh, we bring people. So watchers, things like that, we bring into the games we're playing. We brought them into Payday. In fact, I do giveaways through Twitch. I, I gave away copies of Payday and other copies of games that I had on Steam uh, to really? people who are watching our Twitch. Yes, yes, Why I did. Why did you do that? Uh, last time we were playing Payday, we had some people watching, and they're like, oh, man, this is cool, blah, blah, blah. And I sent them messages. I'm like, how would you like a copy? And huh. bam. So that's what I'm talking about. Things people like who are this. not, yeah, see, people who are not watching us on Twitch are totally missing out. Uh, will you? All right. All I right. Thought you're, I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, what? Nope. What did I do nope. now? No, nope. I shot him with an arrow. No, no, and I was going to catch my treehouse on fire. Don't light the house on fire. I have to rebuild it. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to end this here. Uh, we're actually going to kick this right over to. Uh, which, as a matter of fact, right when we're done recording this. So I encourage you guys, go over there. Make sure you're following us on Twitch TV. Uh, otherwise, you're missing out on all the cool crap that we're doing. Uh, any closing remarks, you guys? we got to end please, this. Please don't burn down the house. No problem. Yeah, don't, don't uh, do unlike, unlike that popular song that is burning down the house, please don't. The roof is on fire? No, talking heads burning down the house. No. Burn, motherfucker, burn. Anyways, we're done. I like the Bloodhound game better. <laughs> uh, we are done uh, I, I appreciate you guys watching those of you who have made it through this um, thank you and maybe we'll see you next week